What's up guys, welcome back to the Essence channel and today I'll finally walk you through my smart room system, so to say. So everything is controlled by a custom made app and before I get into it, I just want to quickly tell you what the setup consists of. So we have wooden letter S with RGB behind, a wall lamp, obviously bought DIY, and then Aurora Nano Leaf, also DIY, made of out of aluminum. Um, I'll put a link for that down below. Here's a code. Uh, there's a like six, seven, eight thousand lines. I'm not completely sure. Uh, also, we have RGB strip on top uh, that is also controlled through the app, and we have door lock that currently doesn't work because I need one more ESP, but I just couldn't wait to get that done, so I decided to make a video for you. Okay, let's dive deep into the app real quick. So on top here, we have outdoor indoor temperature. We have a global switch here. You can press it to turn everything off or on, or you can get inside here uh, and do things individually. So, whatever you like. Here we have a switch for the room light. You see it change. There we go. Love that. All right, there you go. Door lock that doesn't work for now, so I won't get into that. We have my AC. Uh, now the way I control AC is actually I have um, a ER. Somewhere around there, you can probably see it. Yep, there we go, right in the center. Uh, and I just copied the codes from the original remote and I just send it to air conditioning. In fact, I'll show you that it works. There we go. Now, 23, is it 23? Yeah, I think it's 23, oh, it's 20, whatever. Uh, let's put it to 25, maybe. And you'll see, changes to 25. Okay, now let's turn it off before it starts doing something. Because <laughs> I don't need air conditioning right now. It's warm 21. Okay, next up is this most fun portion. And that's all of, you, all of the LEDs. So the Aurora Nano Leaf. Uh, you can pick between the effects. Let's say we have it uh, static. And then you can slide your finger to change the colors. That will be blue, so that. Um, my favorite obviously is Aurora Wave, so that just does wave across like that. You can change the brightness as well as the effect color. So let's say we want this one. And you'll see it being changed very soon. There we go. Letter S, it's the same principle. You pick an effect, you pick the color. We have a wall lamp, this little thing here. Let me try to show you. So, how we change the color. or you can change it to white light. In which case you can pick the temperature of it. So it can be more of a bluish tone or reddish tone. Just back to this one. And then the ceiling light, obviously you can pick the colors. You can see them change in the reflection here. Uh, brightness also works, so blue light for example. And then we have these. Now these are actually the global modes, so to say. So you press one and all of the lights will change. So let's pick this one, for example. See, we have a nice apply effect. And you're gonna see the top change. That will change and that will change. There we go. Uh, this is still not hooked up to this system, but rest of the things do. So now you see all of them are in blue yellow mode that we set up. And if we go back to colors and stuff, uh, you're gonna be able to see those effects being set up. And that's basically how it works. Uh, nothing too complicated, but it looks pretty sleek. Uh, we can also, yeah, we can toggle stuff from up here. So a notification panel, 
for example, I can turn off the ceiling, you're going to see boom going down, or a wall lamp. Because, you know, when I'm about to go sleep, I don't want to get into the app, change stuff, I can do it directly from the top here. It's super cool. And here's a recording of the application from a few days ago. So just wanted to tell you that uh, this was uploaded to Reddit. So if you're not following me there, make sure you do because that's where I post my ongoing projects. Uh, so you can have a sneak peek. Also just wanted to mention once more that the application was fully built by me. Or developed, should I say. Uh, and I'm still planning to add a couple more things in. So make sure you stay tuned and stay subscribed. And if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, now, just quickly, the way this works, uh, the when you change something in app, the, the app updates the database. I use Google Firebase. And then I have three ESPs, 8266 total, uh, that then uses those data, uh, you know, just reads the data from the database and then change whatever you changed. Uh, pretty simple concept, not that hard to implement, but when you have this complicated UI, it does get a bit more advanced. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, see you next time, that's all I have to say.